Hi, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com here. I have a quick screencast tutorial for you showing you how you can use Band in a Box to generate fresh sight reading etudes at the, literally at the drop of the hat once you've got the process down. You can literally in 10 or 15 minutes you can print out 20, 30, 32 bar or however long you want those etudes to be to specific chord progressions. And of course you can always get Band in a Box to give you a backing track while you practice sight reading um, obviously you have to mute the bass so this is the first this is the band in a box blank screen this is the standard screen you get when you open band in a box up first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to the choruses button and we're going to change the number of choruses just to one let's get rid of that um, the reason we're doing that we want uh, just 32 bars to be printed out a nice simple etude 32 bars fits nicely on one sheet of music and the one one of the problems with band in a box not problem but one of the things that band in a box does it doesn't handle written notation particularly well it's not designed to do that it we should be thankful that it does handle it at all so 32 bars or 24 bars they're good lengths of etudes to do because they will fit on one piece of paper which obviously fits nicely on your music stand so we set the chorus to one the next thing we need to do is generate a random chord progression to do that we go to the melodist feature which is here that button that M button and when you click on it this is the kind of screen that you get you have lots of little um, features that you can select or deselect the one, what we're going to start off doing, we're going to set the key. We're going to set the key to C. You can see that you can set it to any key that you want. We want to be in C in this one for the sake of argument. We want generate chords to be highlighted because we want chords to be generated. We don't want melody to be generated. I think that's one of the default settings which I've taken off. And have a look. We want a form, A, A, B, A, yes. Um, and here, you've got, you see here it says create C and M in a style similar to. Band in a Box has a number of different uh, styles that it's already set up. We're going to select Pop 8 Eagles. And that will um, give us a melody, theoretically, in a style similar to that. That's irrespective, sorry, not a melody, a chord progression. Whether it is or it isn't is neither here nor there for what we're doing because what we're what we're trying to achieve with this exercise is generate fresh reading material that we've never seen before that we can practice our sight reading on. So we're going to press OK, and what you'll see will happen. Band in a box is doing it. It's going to start playing as well. Let me just stop that. You see now we've got a chord progression in front of us on the screen, which is going to be the basis for the sight reading etude. So. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to the notation window, which is this music. It's denoted by this symbol of a, a music note. We click on the notation window, and now we're, we're starting to get into Band in a Box's notation options. Now, at the moment, you see these buttons here, B, D, P, G, S, M, and S. They correspond to the different instruments that Band in a Box has. If we go up here, you've got bass, piano, drums guitar, strings, melody, soloist. So at the moment you can see that the M is selected because it's blue um, and there was no melody because we deselected the generate melody feature. So let's click on B for bass and you can see there that we've got some bass generated which is the kind of thing we want. If we set band in a box scrolling you'd see that scroll across the screen but that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to print it out so we can put it on our music stand and use it for sight reading practice. Now, let's just click here on this options button. And what we're looking to do is make sure that we've got this selected here in the transpose, which is bass guitar plus 12. If you don't have that selected, what you'll find happening is that some of the notes will be an octave below and they'll be below E which is your open lowest open string if you've got a standard four string bass guitar which most people have so you need to have that selected you'll see that it will uh, hasn't done any made any difference it was already 
done because it's something that I have as a default setting. Uh, but you won't have it as a default setting unless you've changed it. So what we need to do, we could print that out, but you see we've got this treble clef here, which we don't want particularly. We're, just, we're only interested in the bass clef. If you leave the treble clef on, what will happen is it will take up extra space and your 32 bar printout won't fit on one piece of paper. Now, how we do that is when we go to print, okay, we've printed and the print dialog box comes on, you see that the treble clef there is selected. What we want to do is, is deselect the treble clef and select the bass clef. Now, the other thing you can do here if you wish to is you could deselect the chords so you don't have the chords written over the top. As in a lot of music you get, you have the chords written over it. I tend to leave that there because it's quite like a, it's more like a real world setting. So now we can go to OK Print. Uh, my printer dialog box comes up. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save it as a PDF. Uh, let's stick it on my desktop and we'll call it Sight Reading 1. So that's set, printed that to a PDF on my desktop. Let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so this is the PDF opened in my PDF reading software. And you can clearly see here are the chord progressions. Here's the bass line. And what you could do is you could now, um, if you imagine this was, I'm just scrolling down so you can see, if you imagine this was printed out and you've got it on your music stand, you could using band in a box you could either change some of the instruments to real tracks if you've got the real tracks option or you can use one of the built-in styles and you can then just press play set it to a tempo that you're comfortable with when you're reading and you've then got a sight etude sight reading etude automatically generated plus you have rhythm and chordal accompaniment so you can actually hear if you're making a mistake because uh, if you make a mistake there's a chance the note you're playing will clash with the harmony. Um, and you can do this with lots of different styles. Band in a Box has got lots of different types of styles. There are reggae styles, there are funk styles, there's some Jacko stuff with some 16th notes in. Um, and of course, Band in a Box has got, if you're a Windows user, hasn't yet come to the new Mac version. Um, and i am got my fingers crossed that it does. But you can build your own styles in, in various you know, genres, depending on what kind of music you like. But the point is, there are lots of different options available for you that you can use so that if you want to generate some 16th note based material, you can. If you want to generate some 8th note based material, you can. This is kind of a standard mid-tempo poppy kind of stuff. You've got the dotted quarter note with an 8th note and you've got some bars here, down here, which have got 8th notes. Anyway, if you go back through this tutorial, it should show you the steps you need to generate um, a chord progression. And then you can use Band in the Boxes built in MIDI options to generate a bass line, see the bass line printed out. And in half an hour, you could probably do 20, 25 of those, which would keep you, sight, depending on your sight reading capabilities, of course, keep you going for a good while. Um, and obviously, then you can just repeat that when you've, you've finished the going through them and you can generate sight reading studies ad infinitum. So I hope that's of help. Uh, my name is Paul Wolf from howtoplaybass.com. I'll catch you in the next video.